this is Eric Mother with mother.com with a quick video in this educational video I'm gonna be looking at RSI levels that determine major trend directions let's begin with the obvious one 69.1 notice what happens to this stock when it moves above 69.1 right here notice how prices are favorable to the bulls as long as the RSI is above 69.1 we have another move above 69.1 here corresponding with this price swing trade to the upside for about two months again this is a monthly chart so this is gonna play out in any time frame so really I'm just using the monthly chart because it gives us a nice way of looking at things we can also see another movement above 69.1 here which began this ultimate hyperbolic move so of course we can see another reminder why the most bullish phase of a stock or any trading instrument is when it is holding above 69.1 now let's switch gears a little bit notice what happens when we are rejected when trying to move above 69.1 it so happens that that coincides with reversal in price rejection there with uniform activity that's the monthly closing high of course we go into this down phase now we have another level that we can also discuss and that is RSI 50 notice we have movement above RSI 50 and back below it that corresponds to reversal the main takeaway is the uniform activity above 50 back below it and you can see once we are rejected while trying to move above RSI 50 prices are influenced lower so right now we see the stock approaching a critical RSI level and that is at 38.2 of course if you are holding this you gotta be careful because generally speaking when we drop below 38.2 especially for the first time we tend to coincide with very bearish price movement in other words your first move below 38.2 generally speaking can turn into a crash type situation so if you're watching this holding this you gotta watch out for that movement if it happens movement below 38.2 now let's wrap this video up by taking a look at other areas of interest now notice here where we had RSI 50 rejection it also corresponds with the MACD zero line rejection so confirming that this drop below back below 50 after RS after MACD zero rejection was telling you the prices were more than likely gonna be drifting lower so there's definitely a lot on this chart now before I conclude I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video talking about the wave cancellation principle but we can see here wave cancellation in other words this area is equal in time and space pretty much close to this area in terms of time and space and using my wave cancellation method what was happening here actually was that the RSI wanted to go flat which is pretty much what the theory is about because these two areas cancel each other out the RSI should have been flat so if you understand my wave cancellation principle this also this movement below 50 after wave cancellation was a sell signal links are gonna be in the description of the video Eric Mwadith, mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e I see.